hi and welcome back to the channel today well today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal video primarily because i'm not going to set my camera gear up it is uh it's been raining for days and it's expected to keep raining uh we have a lull in the weather right now so i thought i'd grab the handheld and zip out here and give you an update hi chickens I'll let you know what's been going on now those of you who follow me on instagram you know uh, what's been going on there's been some, some changes in the apiary but if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Zip out there if you have the app. Look for the bug farmer, you'll find me. Anyways, what's going on is that uh, Juno no longer lives on the back bench. Some of her bees think she still lives back here, but, uh, but she doesn't, she's moved. And I'm sure they're gonna find their way home or bribe themselves back into a, a different hive, but, uh, but Juno has moved to the front row. Well, I know I didn't have room on the front row for another hive, but uh, we have room now because we lost a hive up here. And the hive we lost, unfortunately, was, uh, was the orange hive, was Juno's daughter. So Juno's daughter is now gone and has been replaced with Juno herself. She got to come back up to the front. That means this winter she is going to get a heated hive, so she will be happy. But I can tell you this was no fun losing Juno's daughter, especially this time of year. I don't know where she went. I was hoping she would find her way into one of my swarm traps, but she didn't. They just uh, they just uh, either either absconded completely or they were killed. There's a few dead bees on the ground there and a lot of wax cappings up underneath the hive, but that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is that Juno is up front and her daughter is gone. And I guess that is because of dearth. Well, dearth is coming to an end here. Um, a lot of the girls are bringing in pollen. I can see a lot of pollen coming in now. now I don't know if they're bringing in nectar or not. Um, I was gonna get in the hives again today, but again, it's going to be raining, so I can't do that. But if we look back here on the army hive, back on the landing board, these girls are bringing in pollen. They're finding it from somewhere. Don't know where, but they're finding it. So, uh, so dearth is, uh, is just about over. Now, something else that I thought was interesting is that when I came up here with the uh, with Juno and brought her to the front row, I opened the lid and I saw a ton of hive beetles in there. And when she was back in the back row, she did not have a vent box on top. Therefore, she did not have these holes that hive beetles could get in. And she was, and still is, operating with the Guardian. So this helps us answer our question and a question that I've gotten from several of uh, the people out there, I just answered one today. Um, does the Guardian work? What's the verdict? Do we have an update? Well, this is the update. The update is, is that if you remember, a few months ago, we went through Juno when we took the flow hives off and there were a thousand beetles in there, just a ton of beetles. We, put the, we, we got rid of all the beetles, we put oil traps in that hive and we put the Guardian on the front. Now, granted, that hive sat back in the shade for the last few months and, and beetles got in there. Now, I don't know whether they came into the front entrance or through the screened bottom board. And see, that's an issue, screened bottom board. I don't know whether beetles come in through there, but I think they may, right? Because there are a ton of beetles in that hive again. And as soon as I get a nice day, I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna kill them again. Um, but here's a success story. If you remember two weeks ago, we went through the white hive and the white hive has been sitting on the front row in the sun and the white hive does have vent holes in the top, but the vent holes that are in the top of the white hive have been covered on the inside with a fine screen, so there's no way beetles got through there. And she's been running the Guardian all summer long, again, in the front row in the sun. And she still had some beetles in her hive, and I'm suspecting that those beetles had to come in through the screened bottom board. So next year I'm going to be getting rid of the screened bottom board. I think I'm going to build some hives that, uh, that don't include that, at least not in its current configuration. So there you go. There's an update on the apiary and an update on the Guardian. Do I think it works? I have seen it work. I've seen beetles fly up to the front of a hive and not be able to get in. I've also seen hives that have the Guardian on them have a lot of beetles inside of them. And the only thing that I can figure now is it's got to be the screen bottom board. So we are going to probably won't have that answer till till next spring when we uh, when we set up the new hives out here without the screen bottom board run the guardian 
and have the upper vent holes completely sealed off with uh, with fine mesh screen in all the hives. Um, so the verdict is, I don't know. I know that the white hive is doing great compared to the other hives, but the white hive still had beetles in it. Juno, who did not have vent holes, but does have a screen bottom board, sat back in the shade, and she just literally had hundreds of hive beetles inside the hive yesterday. So that is that. So all that said, I hope I answered some of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this update. Sorry we, we couldn't go through any of the hives today, but, uh, but there you go. That is it. Thank you for uh, stopping in to have a look at the video. I really appreciate it. So if you, uh, if you like this video and you like this content, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. I love hearing from you. I like uh, taking the time to answer your questions. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's very important. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun here. Just last week, we were flying around the backyard before we did the, uh, the taste test. But uh, that's that. So with all that said, I hope you have a great day. Stay dry. Be happy. And I'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs>